This is note 452. On solving a quadratic equation using square roots, this is period three, December 6th, 2018. All right, so we, this is the second method that we are learning on solving quadratic equations. <coughs> quadratic equations have a variable raised to a power of two. Um, the first method that we learned on solving quadratic equations was factoring. Now we're learning a second method, and it, the method is called taking square roots. The first step is isolate the square. And so what you're doing is you are looking for where is the power of 2 in the equation. So here we've got x to the power of 2. So we want to get that part right there, that x to the power of 2, all by itself on one side of the equal sign. Doing that is exactly like you learn to solve equations in Algebra 1. So can you tell me for this problem, what should I do first? Nice. Great. to the power of 2, what's the inverse of raising a number to the power of 2? No. We learned this yesterday. It's not subtract. It's not divide. Square root. Right. So to undo raising x squared to the power of 2, I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So what's x? What's on the right-hand side of the equal sign? Is there any number other than 5 that when you square it or when you multiply it by itself gives you a 25? No. There is. Can you think about that for a second? What other number besides 5 when you raise it to the power of 2 gives you 25? It's uh, negative 5. Very nice. Negative. Oh, yeah. negative five. And negative 5. Both numbers when raised to the power of 2, give you a positive 25, okay? When we factored to solve quadratic e we equations, we found that many times there were two solutions. Same is going to hold true for this. When we're solving quadratic equations, most of the time you're going to get two solutions. For this equation, the, those two answers, those two solutions, are positive and negative 5. That's how you write that answer. You have to, yes. Okay, here's a rule. Wait. Go ahead. So how would you know uh, whether or not there would be another number that could make it uh, into that? Okay, anytime you're solving a equation and you take a square root, you have to show two answers, one positive, one negative. So, so in other words, always. It'll always be that. Yes. The, uh, you're always, every time you take a square root, you're going to put plus and minus when you take that square root. Put this on, in your notes, please. There are two solutions, one positive and one negative. Okay. Problem number two, write that down. What's the solution for problem number two? Good. So, so this already has the, the um, square by itself. So I don't have to do step one. I don't have to isolate the square. I'm going to take the square root of both sides. Anytime I take the square root to solve an equation, I'm putting plus and minus. So my answer is plus and minus eight. How about for problem three? Can you write that down first? What do I do first to isolate the square? Oh, your guys are so beautiful. Now what? Divide by square root. Now I gotta divide by four. Okay, you can't square root until you 
got that squared thing by itself. Nice. Now you take this one. And when I do that, I do plus or minus. So I have positive and negative two. I want you to try this one by yourself. All right, so I've got a student up here who's going to demonstrate this problem. Hit it. You can talk. You can explain what you're doing. Oh. <laughs> do you want to? Go ahead. I've got a second volunteer trying to do this problem. some rewards? Yeah. Oh, you found them. Yeah. You had to do all of that, yeah. You have to put plus and minus, yes. Yes, it's, it's hard. It is hard to read on the smart board, and the smart board is not working very well. Very nice, Matthew. Thank you. 
Matthew gets some rewards too. <coughs> All right, so this is really good. This is really hard to write on this smartboard. So, just like before, you know, it's actually the same answer it was, it was in the previous problem. So we have the square root of 12 is the square root of 4 times the square root of 3, which is 2 radical 3. Well, you did multiple on the other side of the Yes, we did. So we started with two, x squared equals 2. To undo, divide by 6, we multiply by 6. That's how we got 12. Good question. <coughs> All right, again, try by yourself. All right, we've got another student trying this problem. Hit it. Thank you. 